Hello my friends, today I am going to cover uh, how to connect uh, domain name or subdomain name to existing server that have, have static IP address. Let's start from making sure that uh, our IP address is static. Check our instance uh, we have from previous lesson and let's check if it still works. Uh, I don't remember which port. Yeah, it's 80. It works, and now uh, we gonna we gonna connect the, uh, this uh, server to to exact domain name. First of all, we need to make sure that we have static IP, IP address, because otherwise, if you if we just um, restart the server, the IP address will change. But in case, for example, you want to change instance type to bigger one and you will need to stop the the instance change and then up uh, so after that you will there will be a completely different IP address so what we can do it's go to network and security of course you go to EC2 and then to network and security and elastic IP address and we need to allocate allocate here a new one uh, there is no need to change anything, just allocate. Okay, we got the IP address. Now this one will be static. Um, I'm not sure about the pricing. I believe uh, there was last update that it's 50 cents per month to, to, to keep the static IP address. But what we can do? Then we need to connect this IP address to our instance. So to do so, we need to associate our elastic IP address and then you need to choose our instance just click associate and now if we go to the list of instances we will see that we use this IP address uh, after this change we will need to let's just copy we will need to change our uh, the way we connect because the old of course will not work so let's just uh, change to the new one yes and we, we are connected uh, we need to log in to uh, our DNS so whatever you use for domain name if you don't have uh, yet you will need to buy one and you can use name cheap for example it's like common one and like with good prices or go daddy uh, the same it's not bad i believe you just you just can compare oh it's by default ukrainian language uh, you can just compare prices for the domain you want and choose whatever you need for me i prefer name cheap whatever i buy now but uh, the example I will show you, I'm going to use Google Domains. Um, let's just log in there. And there is the list of domains I already have. So uh, we're going to change my... We're going to create uh, add subdomain to my to my existing domain so uh, let's go and press manage then you need to choose DNS and you just need an, a new record so where is where is where is manage custom records and here uh, I can just create a new record uh, create a new record and need to choose type it's a type and let's choose uh, some some name for our subdomain let's just call it django it will be django.petrychuk.com and we need to put here our ip address let's go here just copy again uh, this one and let's just paste uh, all right save 
okay it works and it is in the list uh, due to some specific things in dns it may not work immediately uh, usually it works like after 5-10 minutes depends on the provider but it may take like 24 or 48 hours so just keep wait uh, so let's just try if it works if you can see uh, it's already uh, directed to the domain but the problem that we don't have this domain in our general settings let's add and like just the push update so let's go to our settings and allow allowed host let's just add another one so this way by the way the here is the old ip address so if we go now and update uh, like if you go directly by new ip address it should have the same error if you go here yeah because it's not in the list and the old one one will be not work because we the ip address is changed uh all right so let's just deploy these changes uh, not change anything here so actions here are let's fight all right guys uh we have a problem let's we change ip address we need to update uh, secret for that uh let's go copy there and let's go to the settings and secrets actions and we need to change ip address because uh, we now have static one let's update it all right saved and we need to restart action because of course it's failed let's just rerun failed job it should be faster Okay, it's just one drops, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, now it works. All right, success. Let's go and check the domain. Finally, it works, so we successfully connected domain to our server. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel, put like below this video and let's see you soon.